Hello everybody, it's Emma here. I'm just showing you how I have everything set up for my cha-cha bracelet, the uh, Santa Claus one for my neighbor Madonna. So what I do is I figure out one what the focal beads are, so these big ones that I got um, from the bracelet at the thrift shop. And uh, let me turn this one around here so you can see. This one is Rudolph. So I have Rudolph next to Santa, of course. And um, I'm uh, trying to figure out a red uh, tiny bead or crystal that I can use for his nose. I probably need two. This side looks a little better. Can enlarge that. See? So there you go. Yeah, so this is where I would set them all up. They're not um they're not all on yet. So you can see this is these are just uh I I turned them. I think what I'm gonna do is um, redo them but in the same order I just wanted to make sure none of the stuff came off so that I get an idea then I add these a set of each color of crystal onto the uh, loop of the uh, chain next to the focals um, it is going to be heavy. I mean, it's a cha-cha bracelet. Now, the head pins I'm using are pretty thin gauge and very light, so that helps a bit. And these little uh, dangles are pretty small, so that uh, should make a difference as well. Um, then I have, I made some some others this one's more of a charm to put at the end maybe near the the clasp and this one has the pine cone i just love this one and i love these little beads this, this seems pretty dark these little beads here are so beautiful so there's that and i also did these icicle icicle style ones <laughs> I love those too. I don't, these are pretty light, so I think they should be fine. But, um, so I'm not sure, and I only have four of them. I, I think they need to go on there. <laughs> They're so gorgeous. Then there's these too, so yeah, this cha cha bracelet's gonna be massive. But we'll see, we'll see, like, we'll put the essential ones on and then see how far we get with this. So, and then, like I said, I, I did one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven of those. We'll see if I use them all. Uh, might use them for something else. So, the only beads from the glass beads that I didn't use were these ones. I felt like they didn't, like this looks like candy, which is nice, but it's kind of, the color scheme doesn't really go with it. There's no green or red or white I mean there is a little dot of white but and then this one is supposed to be looks like a Christmas ball but it's very plain so I left those two out and that will give me more room for this stuff but I also wanted to show you something else I've been talking about it in the comments the responses to the comments to the last video about dyeing the pearls I have to show you <laughs> My stash. Let me uh, get these in focus. So these turned out amazing. So I have a few different shades of pink, and this is a peach. And then these were amazing. They, uh, I put them in with, like I had two different strands. I put them in with a different strand, and they. Um, got this kind of metallic orange look, so I'll have to use them for something special. But yeah, they turned out amazing. 
thought it was so cool. So yeah, I'll have to look into that, see if I can get some really uh, inexpensive pearls from the thrift store and uh, make some more really fantastic colors. So that was really cool. So let's get started with this. So I'm just showing you two. Let me see if I can come out a bit to show you. This is my bee tray. So what I do is I grab stuff and I put them in these little plastic containers and you know set things up ready to go and then I bring my tools and I go downstairs to watch TV with my wife and sit and I that's how I did all these uh, turned all those and ready to go so yeah it's you know it's kind of do two things at once and uh, you know these this was a ring tray that I got at Michael's on sale I think it was seven dollars and I pulled out the foam and the velour and I cut out a piece of um, uh, beading mat and stuck it in there and I have two of them I'm kicking myself that I didn't buy a bunch because it has this high ledge so it's about that thick and it's solid so these are great because like I'll do something like this and then I have another one that has another project on it and they stack on top of each other so they're awesome so yeah so let's see what we can let me uh, move these pearls over a bit because <laughs> I've knocked them over a couple of times already so the other thing I was going to mention is I um so I'm going to move these guys aside for now. I um I started out by so I just do the one. Let me see where I'm at. So I'm going to do this side now. Better light there. I started out by just doing the loop and then it, I would add it to the chain and then do the turn the wrap I guess and um, it's a bit awkward doing it and as you add more and more stuff it gets more and more awkward but then when I was doing it some of my things came off the links of the chain and let me see if I can show you one of the links you can see here so you can see it's a bit open so I'm like, why am I struggling to, to wrap this on this little itty bitty thing? So I just started doing the wraps here and then just sliding this on like this. And you can open it a little bit more and then put it on. Like this, this uh, gauge is so small that it's easy to get on there. Plus you can open this up. Not to mention, I'm going to have to go through and close these really well. I think there's one here that's even open more. Yeah, this one's open quite a bit. So you can really see how open that is. Yeah. Okay, so let's... Uh, Let's see, let's see how well I can do this. So I figured out that I can't uh, wrap on camera because I'm I have my arms around my camera. So let me bring this down a bit because this chain links are a bit um, thick. So I I want these to move around well on the uh, on the chain I don't want them sticking up and poking the person wearing it let me make 
make sure I have a good hold of this. It's pouring rain here in Nova Scotia. We we're hoping to get a walk in today because we have massage this afternoon. So we didn't want to go to the gym. So it may be a pure rest day <laughs> today, which is not too bad. I'm, I'm losing weight. So clearly the gym workouts are working in the keto. I've been doing OMAD, which is one meal a day. I don't, uh, it doesn't bother me. I've been doing it for so long now, I'm a year and a half, that uh, when my stomach starts to grumble, I don't automatically think of food. So that's good. And I've, it's like I've disconnected that kind of connection of, um, you know, grumbling stomach means hunger pains it, and I need to eat. It doesn't feel like that anymore. So I'm super stoked about that. I mean, I know for some people it's... I know when I was dieting um, and still eating carbs that the carbs just make you so hungry. It, it fills you quick right away but and well but uh, yeah before too long you're hungry again so this has been awesome so um, Augie was mentioning that uh, she asked me if I do Christmas ornaments and I haven't done Christmas ornaments oh probably I guess maybe 10 years. Um, so uh, she was interested in maybe some, uh, so there's one. Let's do a green one. So she was mentioning maybe um, like some type of uh, bead weaving covering of a, uh, I don't know, an ornament or something, but um, I, I did want to mention Kathleen Brandt, and I will put a link to her YouTube channel, um, has done a, a bunch of short videos that are all for the same uh, Christmas ball that she's doing, and it's bead weaving kind of netting over the Christmas ball. And you will not believe this thing. <laughs> what you should do, I wouldn't normally recommend this, but what you should do is go to um, the final one and take a look and then go back and watch if you're interested in making it. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. I'm like totally blown away. So I need to move. This is kind of loose here. Let me see if I can squeeze that up somehow. I'm trying to move this wrap up that one loop. There, that worked. And then I can cut that and pop it in there it looks like a little chandelier it's just incredible incredible so just uh, you know be be aware that she is still struggling with her she's using her phone and she's it's it's just uh, it's really tough because we have a lot of crap on our phones, like pictures and stuff, and they're n the memory on phones are not that big unless you have like a brand new phone or something. Um, so 
she's just trying to work through that and you know I watched a video on the best it was tips from these big uh, youtubers to new youtubers and one of the tips said you know I understand that there's a lot of preparation that goes into making a video but if you can it's so much better to get the content out there and figure out the rest later I mean I'm sure they didn't say it that way <laughs> that's my paraphrasing that's what that was my takeaway <laughs> But that's, you know, my wife would just laugh at that. She's like, yeah, that's about how you process IT information. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but the idea is, like anything, we procrastinate and say, oh, I'd love to do this or I'd love to do that. And we do tons. Of, I know I do. I guess I can only speak for myself, but we do tons of preparation and we don't actually do it or we talk ourselves out of it. So if if you're thinking of doing videos, just do it. Just don't like, you know, you have to shoot the video because you're not going to do live. So you have to shoot the video to start with. If you don't like it or if you think it's ridiculous, don't upload it and just move on but I think you'll realize quickly that hey this isn't too bad and I'm sure all of you have seen some pretty atrocious videos where barely anything's in focus like some of my old videos <laughs> and you're like oh my gosh you're like screaming at the camera going oh or the whatever device you're using okay so let me I, I'm trying to keep the attachments on the same part of the links so um, let me see actually this one should have been on the other side now that I see that I might have to pull this one off let me pull this one off and put it at the back side and this way I can show you what I'm doing with the links as well. If I can find the opening, I'd probably close this one myself. I did such a great job! But yeah, so... Um, you know, the same goes for... Uh, doing... Yeah, I can't find the opening to this one. It must be right there. So the same goes for... Um, I'm almost leery of opening this because then... It, it'll get confused and I won't know where to put... Poor Rudolph! Okay, let's try it. Um, okay, so I'm not going to take off the link. I'm just going to take off Rudolph and I'm going to put Rudolph on the other side. And you're probably wondering what the heck I'm doing, but it will make sense. Let's see if I can get this in there. There we go. Grab this again. Um, yeah, so if you're thinking of starting, like, trying bead weaving and you haven't done it, just do it. Oh my gosh, you're going to have so much fun. I mean, if that's the kind of thing you think you might like. I know for some people it's just out and out frustrating. So, okay, so this I can show you now. So all the heavy focal beads are on, let me turn this a little more, on the one side. Actually, you know, this, 
somewhat on the right side starts. <laughs> anyway, let's get going on the, uh, put these guys on this one here. Let's see if we can find the opening on this one. There we go. It's right there. So, um, yeah, so you can have some fun and I was watching, um, Annalisa's, uh, videos. She was doing some, um, showing us some netting. I think it's her latest video. And, uh, Oh no, I know what it was. It was a video that she had of, um, so you see how this is really super tight? Now it should, it should turn, so we'll just leave that. You know what, I think I need to put it on the other side. Let's go like this. There's more room for it to be loose. Um, she was showing some of the stuff she did the a lot of the stuff is out of uh out of frame and i mean she's just starting out too so she's having a problem i think she's got ooh, i think she's got her shoot dropped it. She, oh darn my fingers aren't working this morning I could take the chain apart and do it, but that would be too easy. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, yeah, so she's uh, she has her camera up on her chandelier with her selfie stick, which I think is hilarious. It's like you do what you got to do to get it going. But um, so that's why she can't see if she's at a frame. So one of the things I was going to just a hint to that if she's watching and I might direct her to this is um, what I do so that I don't have to keep looking at the camera is I use my bead mat as my guide as to what's in frame. So and you can do that. You can cut it to a certain size depending on how far away your camera is. And then you know that or, you know, maybe you're use your hands as your gauge so two hands everything's in frame as soon as you go that third hand and fourth hand that you always need <laughs> you're out of frame so there is the beginning of this beautiful bracelet let me see if I can this may be too stiff I don't know. I may end up having to take some off. We'll see. I don't normally put it that that much stuff on one of these, but um, I may end up doing a second bracelet with some of this stuff because it's it will be a lot. But the other thing that's really cool is I was surprised this blue chain is uh, it's really nice and sparkly. It kind of matches with it, even though it's blue and everything else is white and silver and red and green. So yeah, so I'm going to continue putting these on and then I will be back to show you the finished bracelet. And just a reminder, um, by the time I post this video, I will have muted the giveaway video and the reason I'm doing that I'm doing that at noon today um, so that people can't put any more posts on the video and um, I will most likely open it back up with a edited piece saying or a, a message saying that that it's closed um, just so that um, I can use that video to do the pick the winners so i'll be back i forgot i was in the middle of telling you something so i'm back like right away um about annalise when she was showing some of her stuff she was saying it, it there was some uh, leather wrap bracelets that she was showing and she was uh 
jokingly saying, I, I need to order more of this. And she says, oh my gosh, I'm starting to sound like Emma <laughs> DeVoe. <laughs> And I just have to say, I thought that was so hilarious because I say that all the time. And now I have a huge stash of leather. So I was saying to Annalise, Annalise, don't buy any leather. I will send you some. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I um, am just about ready to do a um, the contest. See if I can show my screen. So hopefully this works. Let's see if we can get this going. So here it goes. Okay. Uh, oh, it's okay. There it is. It's spinning. I'm so excited. I'm kind of nervous. I hope this works. Oh, it's taking a while. This is crazy. Let me see if I'm looking at the wrong thing here. Start raffle, pick a... Oh, uh, so maybe I'm not doing this right. Start raffle and pick a random winner. Oh, okay, there it goes. Woohoo! Donna McIntosh. Hi, Emma from Lakeshore, Bell River, Ontario. That's awesome! That is so cool. Okay, so let's get... Uh, let's do a screenshot of this so I can uh, pick the next winner. Uh, take a screenshot, save visible, and download. That is so cool. Okay, so we're going to do a total of three. So we're picking another. Evelyn Creativa, awesome! She's from Columbus, Ohio. So we'll do a screenshot of hers. Take a screenshot. Save visible. Download. That is so cool. Congratulations, Evelyn. Okay, we're going to pick another one. And Megan from Missouri. That is awesome. Very cool. Okay, so let's take a screenshot of hers. Make sure I can see that. Uh, screenshot, save visible, download. So that is cool. So there you go. So um, these people, please send me an email and um, I will uh, you can if you go to the about section under contact click on that and it will give you my email address um, and I'll, I'll also put my email address in the um, the description and uh, yeah so email me and I will need your uh, wrist size and uh, your address so I can send this off to you and you should get it within a week or two. That's awesome. Congratulations, everybody. And thank you so much for participating. This was a lot of fun. So cool. I appreciate all the uh, subscriptions and views and just wonderful comments and tips that everybody's been giving me. So we're going to have a fun winter. <laughs> hang in there we're gonna isolate and we're just gonna bead away bunch of little bead fairies all over <laughs> okay so I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna get back to my cha-cha bracelet and uh, yeah so this is cool take care oh my gosh so this is happening I am so excited I can't believe 
how exciting that was to do those drawings. <laughs> and I'm not even winning something. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. You know how excited I get. <laughs> it's pretty bad I get excited for other people. Okay, so I um, so I ended up turning. I, I haven't turned these guys here. Um, just because I'm not sure <laughs> there'll be enough space on here to do it. Um, but I went ahead and turned the rest of these. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, wrap them, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and um, start adding them to the links. And I'm just eyeing my links here. I may have to go through and undo the big ones and put them back in the right position because um, cause I want them at the bottom and then the others at the top but as I start turning this it looks like it's oh that's not too bad okay so that one's on there I need to work on this one let's see where the opening is the openings on this side so that's not too bad let's move these other tools away that. and open that a bit one two three and it was weird when I was turning, I, I did the clear ones last and I was surprised that the metal seemed different and they, I kept having to change out the um, eye pin. So now those were the first ones I did so I wonder if my um, looping was just not good. You know what, I think I will put this on last because, and I might have to take those off, spread them out a little more. They seem a little bunched in the middle, and we still have a lot of chain to go, so let's go jump to the next one here, and there's our opening. So this should go pretty quick, actually. It's amazing, once... you have your things turned this part is easy so I am like this whole thing with the giveaway and getting started with this Christmas cha-cha bracelet I'm getting so excited this is so much fun well and the thousand subscribers too is pretty cool you know, kind of like a confirmation that I'm doing something right. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm doing something right because I'm having so much fun. And I love that there's lots of people to talk to. And um, I love responding to the comments. And... As the numbers go up, it makes it harder to do that because um, right now it takes me about two hours to answer all the uh, comments. I'm just pausing. I'm just thinking before I get too far along on this side, I better move to the other side. I may need more of these dangles or I may have to spread them out so I'll take a look and see what I'm doing here I should have counted <laughs> uh, uh, that's how I get these videos out quickly <laughs> it's like no preparation there is some but yeah I could I could do more but eh. this is more more better let's see what we have here <laughs> this is crazy 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 okay um one two 
I would say maybe four more on this side. So let's see what that gives me on the other side. There's four. I um I had counted for 20 each set, but I ended up only uh, wrapping 15. So I, I may have to add. But maybe what I'll do is I'll finish it and leave some space on each end. And then I'll finish the video, but then... I'll, I'll uh, add some more for Madonna later. So there's four on the side. So yeah, I do need more. Um, I'm just wondering if I should space them out. Yeah. It's, it's getting really jumbled and you can't really see what's going on. So uh, I think I'm going to pause the video. I don't know. I want to upload this right away. And this will take me a little bit of time. Let me just continue and I will fix it up for Madonna, but you'll get a basic idea. Okay. So let's just do Let's put some on this side. Because this is what the whole length is, so I definitely need, I should have gone three aside. So, you know what, let me add a few on this side, and we'll put the clasp on, and maybe add the Christmas balls. <laughs> um, I'm thinking out loud. <laughs> And I am, in my mind, I'm going, I am going to take this whole thing apart and redo it. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like Kathleen. That's what she does. She's like, okay. She did this beautiful um, uh, indig indigenous woman praying uh, pendant necklace. It was stunning, and she took it totally apart and redid it. So yeah, as much so that just goes to show you maybe I should do more preparation. <laughs> okay, just the first. What is going on here? You know what's happening is it's getting so heavy that it's turning the link. Okay, let me hold it down like that. I'm really impressed with this chain like it's super stiff it feels like um, aluminum and I, I, I'm gonna have to take a look and try and see where I I bought it okay so let's go I don't know if I want to do this one or this one. Let's do this. This one. Put it on this side. Oh. <laughs> See how quickly I get distracted. I'm like, oh, I just put a whole bunch of these on here. This bracelet, these cha-cha bracelets, I've never heard of them. And uh, I must have seen a video on one of them. And I was like, ooh, that's interesting. But not like super crazy about it. And then, uh, so let's add one of these Christmas balls. So then when, uh, I guess it was Halloween... I 
decided to try it and uh, actually that's one of the ones that I made while I was in bed at night <laughs> I just like totally stacked up my uh, um, bead tray and uh, started going at it eek this is tiny I'm gonna have to redo that one I don't want them like poking up I want them to lay nice and loose that's not closed enough which is probably fine since I'm gonna take it apart uh -oh. it's in there that is <laughs> It's like, it's like a Christmas tree. <laughs> you can, there's enough on here to decorate a whole Christmas tree. Oh my god. Okay, I am going to put this one on this side. These are totally lopsided, but again, we'll, we'll fix that. Let's do this one. I have a massage this afternoon, so I want to get this video completed so that people could see the announcement for the giveaway and all the other fun stuff, the, <laughs> the dyed beads. <laughs> oh, this is turning out amazing. Even the way it is, it's fine. I may not have to uh, switch it up. Okay, so we're going to maybe skip one here. Yeah, see, I wasn't skipping them. That's what it was. I think on other bracelets, I um, I had to skip. Or I had to, there were so many that I had to, uh, sorry. I had to um, put them every link. I think what I did was I put every other link, um, but then this one has these big kind of uh, lamp work beads, so accent beads. It's a cat hair or something. One of these. <laughs> Sorry, Madonna. <laughs> oh, my brain is fried. Too many exciting things at once. This is how I get manic. I think I've been using my sad lamp and my uh, bipolar is such that even using a sad lamp can sometimes put me in a manic state. So I have to be careful. There. So definitely I feel my mood elevating, but this, I would consider this my normal personality. Which is interesting because with the psychiatrist, she likes to have my mood a little lower because when it gets to this point, this is kind of the jumping off point for some absolute silliness. <laughs> but you know what? You still have to live. So... I don't want to be, you know, kind of, I, I describe my mood as muted when that happens. So I'm just trying to, I have this lovely one that reminds me of a candy cane. I had to put it at this end, I think. But right now this looks amazing the way it is. So let's just go... We have four left, so let's do two and two. And we might call it quits. Oh, this goes, oh, there's, so there. 
There, there, there. Okay. We'll make a decision about those other ones. Actually, this is starting to come to the end, so maybe I did. <laughs> maybe I did count it right. Okay. So the kitty cats are starting to settle down. We put a bed in what we call the HOH <laughs> in the master bedroom on a, uh, a little end table, but we put it in the corner across from the bed. And uh, because our black cat, and he's the one that we're concerned about sleeping in the basement, he... Um, he loves being around us, but he needs to be at a distance from us. So he was the one that took possession of the bed that was in the hall at the top of the stairs on the file cabinet. But um, his brother commandeered it. There was a big fight, and that was that. So... Um, Yeah, so he's taking possession of the one in the bedroom now, which is awesome. And then, yeah, so they're not fighting now, for now. And again, they're fighting. Although they do fight over territory, their fighting seems pretty tame. Like, they're not hurting each other. So that's good, because we would stop it if that was the case. Did I lose one? I did. Oops. Man, this stuff is stiff. There. It's getting heavy, but you know what? This is... <laughs> I still can't believe this. This is crazy. <laughs> oh my god, look at this craziness. Talk about starting uh, Christmas off with a bang. We should put the um, this candy cane one here somewhere. I think I want to put it on the underside of this. My wife's talking to the cats. <laughs> I mean, I talk to them like they're babies, so I use a high pitch voice, but it cracks me up when she does it. Because she's like, everybody thinks she's so tough because she's very assertive. And then you hear her talk to the cats like they're little babies. There are babies. Look at that. Oh. Okay, on to this side. So, what did I do? Did I do? I think I just skipped one. So, this one here. Oops. There. Oops. And initially I had done a few dangles that had the crystals on it and I had a red, white, and green. <laughs> it looked like Italy. <laughs> like um that's not what the look I was going for. 
I love Italy, but not on a Christmas bracelet. Okay, next one is there's that one, then there should be this one, and it should be at the bottom. Eek. Trying to orient these are just crazy. Oh, we're at the 50 minute mark. I might have to pause this and, and do up a few snowballs and um, I did, you know what? I don't know. I may not put the, I may save the snowballs and crystals for another bracelet. Yeah, you know what? I think that's what I'm going to do. And I am going to switch sides here because I want the dangles to fall on the bottom. So this is almost done. Super duper. I should put a doggy on here <laughs> to represent Thor, my neighbor's service dog. I don't know if this is bright enough. My, this is insane. Tiny these on the right side. I'm gonna have to switch that one around. But oh my gosh, look at these. Let's see if I can. Spread them out. Yeah, I'm going to have to spread these out a bit. But that should be easy because they're on the links. <laughs> oh, <you know. laughs> that is wild. Okay, so let's get the clasp on. And I had a blue link, but... I'll put this on. Not look at it. Now these have a front and a back. So I'm not going to worry about it for right now because I'm going to redo this. These big beads anyway, so. I might have time to fix those. And then this one on this side. Famous last words, I'll change those big beads and it'll the whole thing will fall apart. <laughs> Look at how easy that is. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> that is crazy. Wow. So there you have it. This is absolutely This is so much fun. It's heavy. <laughs> but you know what? It was going to be heavy with these silly big beads. But it's so... It's not like you're going to work with this or anything. It's just a fun thing to wear around the holidays. I know she's going to love this. This is super fix these guys so yeah I'll just do some little adjustments so I think this is fine with this because let me see what this would look like if I added you may not see these crystals let me see yeah you get they got lost these might be different but then it might take away from the others oh <laughs> Ooh, these look nice <laughs> Maybe I need to. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. Okay, so those are going in. <laughs> but I'll I'll leave them for now. Let me just put another one in here just to give you an idea. <laughs> oh my god, I need help. I so need help. I just would like totally. <laughs> Yeah, 
it looks amazing but you know what the more I add the more it takes away from these beautiful lovely yeah I think I need to stop while I'm ahead so there you go this is this lovely cha-cha <laughs> bracelet thank you so much everyone for watching this video and uh, commenting and participating this has been an amazing four months um, yeah super crazy and congratulations again to the awesome uh, people that won the giveaways and remember to send me an email with your information so I can send you a package and uh, for the ones that didn't win um, don't worry I will I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be doing another one um, for Christmas so I have an idea to do a Christmas shopping spree uh, online in maybe a live video I'm gonna see how that would work I don't know if I can have my camera set up to do live and use my computer at the same time because I think I need my computer to read the comments but what I might do is do a video where I ask people to comment as to what to add to the Christmas list and then those comments will put you in the competition for the giveaway and then of course the giveaway would be what we purchased so something like that we'll figure it out Anyway, thanks again, everyone, and I hope you enjoyed this. And, uh, you know, if you make something like this, you got to join the Facebook group and show me what you've done. I'm so excited to see what other people do. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you in the next video.